God told me to visit Transformation Church with my family. And it did not go the way that I expected it to go. Perfect. We have it. Yo, Chito. Chito. Where we at, bro? <laughs> we out here. Yeah, boy. going to take care of a whole bunch of things a whole bunch being actually like three or four things first of all I have to get my film camera taking a look at uh, basically it is having a focus issue I'm going to take my mics to get shipped back to DJI so that they can check them because there's an issue that it is not working properly whenever I turn it on I need to also give a call to Mazda because there's an issue where they charged us for our old cars when we just turned them in and these are all things that I probably should have gotten done a long time ago but join me today as we get them done and uh, yeah see you guys are stepping into the UPS store right now to ship off the product. I said QR code and it's barcode. <laughs> and it's this one, right? No, not that. Oh, it's in my bag. No, you're good. Oddly enough, that was way faster than I expected, but it took me forever to come here. And this has actually happened to me before where something takes me forever. Oops. Something takes me forever for me to like just go and do it. And uh, in the process of me taking so much time to do it, it comes to a point where it's like out of warranty or something, or I'm too late basically. And every time that happens, I like kick myself because I'm just like, how fast was it really for me to be able to just take care of what I needed to take care of, but I just kept putting it off because you know I was prioritizing everything else or my anxiety is what got to me or I was overthinking. And in reality, it would have taken me two seconds Seconds. How many things are there that you have to do that you've been putting off that would literally take you just a few minutes to do But for whatever reason or another you are not doing it Whatever that thing is comment it below and if you're enjoying the video so far hit that like button So two things completed and um, today was a day that did not go how I envisioned it because on the outer side of the story is the fact that a year ago, the first video I did, and if you haven't seen the first, first video I did, I'm going to link it up in the corner, but that 
this is probably mad annoying, but that first video was about the fact that I quit my job and I quit my job because I felt like God was calling me to do this. And the first thing that God basically told me or gave me a, a heart's desire to do was to create videos that basically bless you guys. And that's how Valley of the Heroic was born. And throughout this whole process, the constant thing that God has been speaking to me has been the fact that I need to be making videos. Make videos is what he has said. Make videos. When I ask him for direction, when I ask him what's the next step, go and make videos. When I ask him what he wants me to do next with my business, go and make videos. When I ask him uh, when is that income level going to start normalizing again, I hear him say, go make videos. When I try and go do something else, he tells me, stop doing that and go make videos, which honestly has been the same issue for me, going and doing what needs to get done when it needs to get done in a timely fashion so that you can step into what you're trying to step into. And so I needed to get these things done. And in less than an hour, I got two of the things done. There's one more that I need to do that I'm not gonna have time for today. But here I am recording this video. And even in the midst of this process, even in the midst of doing right now, what I needed to do that God told me to do in regards to my calling and my purpose and Valley of the Heroic, even in the midst of that, it was incredibly difficult for me to get to this point. And I need to highlight the fact that even though it was difficult, even though uh, my daughters were having a really rough day and it was really hard for me to work and there were so many things that I needed to do in the house. We're sharing one car between three people right now. I'm trying to complete 75 hard for the second time so I could reach my fitness goals. Trying to record this video and trying to go to the UPS store and trying to get back to the photo store so they could check out my film camera. All of those things, I'm here recording the video. I'm here doing what I needed to do. And while my time got cut short, I completed two out of the main three things that I needed to do. I'm about halfway done with the video and it's getting done. Yeah, I'm not gonna complete it today. Yeah, I'm actually late to go pick up my wife from work. Sorry, babe. <laughs> But I just wanted to record this real quick to tell you that you need to let go of the perfectionism. You need to let go of all of those things that are stopping you from doing what needs to get done. Even if you are not able to complete it, just do what you can. Even if you feel anxiety ripping away at your heart, even if you have all of these overthinking thoughts that you are overwhelmed by, just go ahead and do it. And if it's pertaining to your calling, if it's pertaining to your purpose in your life and what God has called you to do, start, start and continue. Because in the midst of all of that overthinking and all of that overwhelm that you allow to stop you, you have frustration trapping you from two sides and you chose to be there. Look at this craziness. So I am about to head out and do day two of the things that I wasn't able to get done. And of course, on the day that I'm going to do it, it is raining, but I'm talking about raining, raining. Like that rain you ain't trying to go outside in. But I'm not trying to let this go by another day because it has been extremely difficult to try to get it done. And again, the whole idea here is that when you gotta get something done, you just gotta do it. So I'm sticking to that and we're pushing through and we're getting it done and we're gonna venture out into the rain. Let's have some fun. Peace. I just got off an amazing call with a friend of mine where we were just talking about the importance of you being able to pursue what you believe is meant to be in your life. It's so interesting how we can know what needs to be done. We can know what we want to do even, and yet we'll, we'll struggle in pursuing that thing and we'll struggle with, with just carrying it out and, and actually acting upon those things in a way that is consistent with the desire that we have or the call that we have inside of us. And so um, whatever is truly important in life deserves an adequate amount of attention given to it. And that applies to friendships. Um, during the call, he was just applying it to friendships and talking about how, you know, you pursue what you love. And, and it just reminds me also of just like everything that we've been, go we've been going through and everything that has been going on with Valley of the Heroic and, and doing this channel. And the fact that God told us to go all the way to transformation, just so that he could remind me that I needed to act on the word that he gave me. But what the Holy Spirit revealed to me, Michael, you don't know if you learned until you're tested. And the truth of the matter is it's very difficult to obey God in a season where you feel like this may not even be worth all that I'm going through. 
Do I gotta obey you like that? Do I gotta sacrifice like that? He said, there's elevation on the other side of the test, but I gotta know you learned what I tried to teach you. There are gonna be times where you will go through grand sweeping things that God will bring you through and, and remind you of. And there are going to be times where God will speak to you in a special way that, you know, you're expecting this huge grand gesture from God, when in reality, many times it's just so simple. So here I am just being obedient, um, getting the things done that need to get done both in my personal life, but also at the same time doing this video so that I get done the things that I need to get done in my spiritual life. So what are the things that you need to get done? What are the things that God is telling you to do and how you need to act on them? Something to think about. And then I also saw some people saying that there's like a lever in here sometimes that gets yeah, the lever's broken right here. or messed up. No, the lever's working fine. Yeah, so I don't know why I can't get it to focus. Even in manual? Yeah, it's just not working. I don't know if I'm using it incorrectly or something, but I um, didn't have that, problem, that issue before. Here's a nice picture of me waiting to see if my camera's actually gonna get fixed. Dun, 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 dun. Spoiler alert. It did not get fixed. <sighs> it's a long story short, in order for them to fix an old camera like this that actually came out in 1981 before I was born, they would basically have to take it all apart. And then on top of that, they would have to get a part for it, which they don't make parts for it anymore. So they would have to just order another camera that's probably an operating camera to be able to take that part and put it in this one, which makes no sense. So, no, nah, I'm just kidding. You never throw away things that can possibly still be fixed. My family and I, we went on our amazing trip to Tulsa and had an absolutely amazing time, but it was not what I expected. You see, during the RV trip that God told me to go on, if you didn't see that episode, it's right over here up top. One of the things I asked God, like, God, what are you trying to do during this trip? He told me, I want you to go visit Transformation Church. For me, I was like, wow, you know, there are so many different things that God has spoken to our family throughout this whole year and a half season that we've been in that has been very difficult, but also has been filled with so much of his presence and God has been so good to us. But one of the biggest things that God told us was that he was going to give us a house. We don't know where it's gonna come from. We don't know how it's gonna happen, but that's something that God spoke into our heart on top of that the fact that he keeps telling me to create movie uh well maybe to create movies to create videos and to continue to push valley of the heroic and won't let me touch anything else obviously tells me that he wants me to make this the main thing that i'm doing and very honestly we still haven't reached a, a level of monetization with this channel and with the content that i produce that has replaced my my income that i had before or is even sustainable during a long period of time now regardless of the fact the truth in the matter is, is that God has sustained us throughout this season. I don't know how. I couldn't tell you. I cannot even point or do the calculations. First of all, I'm bad at math. But on top of that, he still has sustained us through this season. But even when God is sustaining you, when you are so focused on the future and you're running the numbers, it's hard to not get worried. And we've gotten worried plenty of times. Full transparency here. We have gotten very worried at times. There have been moments where for me, myself, I have felt the desire and the push from God to just go and create videos. I'm so full of anxiety the whole day that I can't even get started. I've had days completely wasted, weeks completely wasted, at least to my own accord, where I was not able to move because I was too anxious. Maybe I was afraid of the future. Maybe I was afraid of moving. Maybe I was afraid of all of these things. And you might be feeling the same. There might be things that God has spoken over you. There might be things that God told you to do. There might be a purpose that is just looming over your head and it feels like it's a black cloud when it's supposed to be a blessing. God straight up told me one time, he's like, if you're not having fun doing this, there is no reason for you to do it. Because when I got so focused on replacing my income and I got so focused on all of these other circumstances, instead of focusing on my purpose and on you, the listeners, the people that God has told me to make this for so that you would be blessed, so that you would go on and live the purpose that God has for your life. If I'm not doing it, how can I encourage you to do it? So here I am 
taking another shot at it because I literally listened to God after the RV trip. We go to Tulsa and what am I expecting? I don't know, but I'm expecting maybe this is the end and something crazy is going to happen. And let me tell you something. If you have not seen this message cuffed to the clock, you need to go watch it because it's going to do a much better job at encouraging you to live out God's will for your life than I am. Okay. But I go there. We're sitting there in service. Great experience. I was so excited to be there. And then on top of that, the whole message, the whole entire message is literally just confirmation. The whole message is literally just about you acting on God's purpose for your life and how God has to keep speaking to you in different ways throughout many years so that you would just listen to him and do what he's called you to do. That you need to take action on what God has told you to do in your life. And I'm sitting there and I'm just like, wow, I didn't get what I expected because I did not expect for him to tell me to travel when money is tight with my whole family just so he could tell me to do what he already told me to do. And I'm not upset. For me, I left that trip emboldened, faith-filled. For me, I left that trip like, yo, I need to get this done because I have been trapped and I'm the one that has put myself in that trap. I'm the one that knows the way out. I don't know the details of the way out. I don't know what's going to happen. I just know my next step and I'm not taking that next step. I'm letting all of these things come into my life that's causing me to have anxiety, that's causing me to be worried, that's causing me to look at all my circumstances and I'm not focusing on God. I'm not focusing on God's will for my life. So I want to encourage you. I wanna tell you that whatever you might be going through right now, whatever might be happening. Maybe it's not what you expect, but is there something that God told you to do? And are you doing it? Are you acting on the will of God for your life? Are you acting on the things that he asked you to live out in this season? Are you being faithful to the faithful God who loves you? Or are you trying to take things into your own hands and figure it out on your own? Family, we know that God has called us to be heroic. God is the hero of our story and he says, I want to make you a hero in that same story. And when we look at our lives and we look up to the mountain that signifies our purpose and signifies us arriving at the will of God, we need to realize that yes, that is the goal, but it does not undervalue what you receive in the valley. The valley is a holy place. The valley is the place where you get your name. The valley is the place where you get the strength to be able to climb up the mountain and stay up there. The valley is the place where God gives you your voice to roar on the mountaintop. This is why it's Valley of the Heroic. And so I wanna tell you that time will pass you by if you are always seeking perfection before you are obedient. Time will pass by and you will look at your life and you will say, where did time go? Time is the one thing that we cannot recover unless God does. And so if you have something that you need to act on, there is a stirring within your spirit that God has given you. Act on it because God cannot bless in action. Your lack of action cannot be blessed by God. No matter how good your heart is, no matter how much you love him, if you do not move, he cannot bless you. We know that his word says that faith without works is dead. And receiving a word from God and not acting on it is disobedience. I want you to understand that there is a warranty on your purpose, but it will expire if you reject it. God is the one that puts the seal on our purpose. He will bring it to pass, but if you reject it, nothing will happen. Valley of the Royal Family, thank you so much for watching this video. If you are still here at this time, I wanna encourage you to drop a like and subscribe because it helps this channel to be seen more by others and pushed to other people who would like this content just like you do. On top of that, if this video spoke to you and you want to learn more, watch this video right here that speaks specifically about what to do if you are feeling overwhelmed by the purpose that God has for your life. God bless you guys. I hope that this message bless you. Take it easy. Peace.